It was champagne and celebrations at a party at Dave Cull's place on Saturday evening after a big win at the election. The mayor is back with more than 18,000 votes, 12,000 more than any other mayoral candidate, and Cull is looking forward. Well, it's really gratifying to retain the confidence of the community. We've had a, a pretty uh, tough term where we faced a lot of challenges and it's really good to get another endorsement at the end of that so we can go on and, you know, move on and get on with the things we've got to do for the future. The Mayor and seven incumbents will be joined by seven new councillors, Mike Lord in the Mosgiel Tyree Ward and Hilary Calvert, David Benson Pope, Aaron Hawkins, Neville Peat, Doug Hall and Andrew Wiley in the Central Ward. And that is a major change. Well, there was... The new council was always going to be quite drastically different from the old one because five incumbents were stepping down. So it, it was always going to change. And I think that there's the makings there of a very constructive council. One thing that has not changed is a trend towards lower voting figures every three years. Those figures have dropped from a healthy 65% 15 years ago to a record low of just 43.1% this year. University of Otago politics lecturer Dr Bryce Edwards today called for a commission of inquiry into the issue. He said political party affiliations would make it easier for voters to know the politics of those they were voting for, but with calls for internet voting and other methods to help re-engage the public, debate at a national level about what he called dire returns was essential. New councillors, meanwhile, will undergo induction classes in the joys of local government next week before being sworn in on the 29th of October. And that will kick off another term of debates and decisions about some very important issues the public might want to consider having a say on in 2016. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News.